Hello everyone and welcome back to another jailbreak tutorial. Today I'll be giving a tutorial for the first generation iPod Touch. Apologies for the screen protector having some bubbles in it. Uh, I removed it and then decided I wanted to put it back on and couldn't get it perfect, but oh well. So bleh, here we go. This is going to be for version 3.1.3, the latest version it supports. And uh, we're back with the MacBook. And first things first, uh, you have to have Windows 8.1 or older for this to work. You may be able to use a virtual machine. I said in my iPhone 3G jailbreak tutorial that you couldn't, but actually I've heard some different, res some different uh, results on that that it could be possible. I don't know. You can always try it, but uh, for the best results, use an actual computer. I'm using my MacBook here from late 2006 running Windows 7. It's what I find to be the most reliable, but you should be able to use any old PC as long as the install isn't too bloated. Now, first things first, you need to install an old version of iTunes. Specifically, the one I use is iTunes 11.2, and I will link the downloads for it in the description. Just make sure you get either the 32-bit or 64-bit version of it, depending on what type of computer you are using. You can check in system uh, properties if you're using x86, which is 32-bit, or, or 64-bit. Next, you will need to make sure that after you install the version of iTunes, if you've had a previous version installed, uninstall everything Apple-related. That means especially the Apple mobile device drivers, or this will not work. And then make sure after you install iTunes 11.2 that you restart your computer for the new drivers to take effect. I found that there can be issues if you don't restart your computer before starting. With that all out of the way, next thing you'll need to do is download two other files in the description. First of all is the version of Red Snow that we will be using. It's linked down below. You can go get it. And then finally, you will need the IPSW restore file for the iPod Touch uh, with iOS 3.1.3. This is just so that we can use it to identify the version of iOS we will be jailbreaking. Uh, this helps Redstone know what it needs to do, which can sometimes cause problems if you don't use it. So I've linked that file down in the description as well. With all that out of the way, the next thing you need to do is grab a known good USB cable. I'll just be using this one and plug in your device to your computer. Go away, Apple software update. No decline. Go away. And let me get Red Snow open. The version we'll be using is version 0.9.9B9D. Uh, it's linked down below. There's a Windows tutorial, obviously. Mac may work, but it's a lot harder to do because you need a really old version of macOS. And it's way harder to download to downgrade iTunes on macOS. Anyways, uh, once you have Red Snow open, you need to hit Extras and then select IPSW and then find the path of your IPSW that you just downloaded it. And uh, if it's downloaded correctly, which obviously it should, and then it should say su successfully identified. Then hit OK, go back, and hit jailbreak. Then it will prepare the jailbreak data. This takes a second, just let it do its thing. And there we go. So it's going to ask us to select options such as enabling home screen wallpaper, enabling iPad style multitasking, uh, and enabling the battery percentage. Uh, you can safely ignore most of this. I mean, obviously, if you want a custom boot logo, you can do that. Same with recovery logo. And verbose boot basically makes you see the command line while it's booting. I'm going to stick with only battery percentage. I'd normally enable home screen wallpaper, but I can actually do it with a jailbreak tweak after uh, I'm jailbroken. And I found that, especially with multitasking home screen wallpaper, it causes a lot of system lag, and so I like to just be able to disable that if possible. Of course, you can at, you can check those off if you want. I personally won't. Also, obviously, make sure install City is checked. Then hit next, and then here, you gotta get ready here. We're putting the device in device firmware update mode, otherwise known as DFU mode. You need to get one finger ready on the power button and one finger ready on the home button, and then as soon as you hit next, hold the... I forgot to shut it down! Okay. 
hold down power, slide to power off, and make sure your device is turned off. Yeah, don't forget that. Alright, then as soon as you hit next, hold the corner button or power for three seconds, and then when it tells you, start holding on the home button. Obviously, if your home button takes a lot of force to click, uh, hold it down really well. And then when it tells you to, let go of the power button, but keep holding down on that home button. And there we go. You can obviously let go of the home button as soon as it starts doing stuff. So if all goes well and you are using the uh, right version of everything, it should start uploading stuff. And then here we go, downloading jailbreak data. This, this is a very good thing. In my experience, uh, the part where it fails the most is on waiting for reboot. That can happen sometimes, especially if you're using Windows 10. So if you get that message, it's probably because you're using Windows 10 and didn't listen to me earlier when I said to use Windows 8.1 or older. So yeah, sorry people who don't have an old computer lying around. There's nothing I can really tell you. These tools are old and unreliable on modern versions of iOS. Then once this says done, you can safely unplug it because everything else happens right on your device. So at this point, it's going to verbose boot, which is pretty cool, but it should only do that on the first boot up. Transferring control to jailbreak. And then we've got the good old running pineapple. Classic. Now, I said in my iPhone 3G jailbreak tutorial, and I also believe my iPhone 2G jailbreak tutorial, that once you hit this stage, uh, it pretty much never fails. And you can breathe... A uh, sigh of relief that you're gonna have a jailbroken device and then a couple days later after I released my 3G jailbreak tutorial I found a post on the legacy jailbreak subreddit saying that someone's jailbreak had crashed on this screen It was doing that every time and I believe it was on an iPod touch but I think it was a second gen or a third gen so uh, yeah that still has, seems to be a very rare occurrence so just put your iPod down and let it do stuff. And it should finish eventually. At this point, we can close my MacBook down. Another successful jailbreak. And I'll be back once this is done. I think it just crashed. I literally think it just crashed. It was on the logo and then it just... Oh? Okay, never mind. There we go. I freaked out there for a second. All right, so never mind. It did not just crash. We are working here. It was like the progress bar didn't finish, and then it like just faded out and rebooted. I was worried for a second, but we're fine. I hit developer there because that's what I like selecting. And uh, unlike my 2G jailbreak tutorial, this is a newer version of Redstone. It includes a newer... Oh, never mind. We have this guy. I forgot about this guy. Unable to load untrusted server certificate. So, in the 2G jailbreak tutorial video, we went over how to fix this problem. But in addition, I had another problem. The version of Red Snow I used was so old that Cydia had to update, and that was a process that took a long time. This is a newer version of Red Snow than I used for that tutorial. And so, it's not going to take as long, but we do have an issue here, which is this message. It's an issue with network security and crap, so just head over to manage, hit sources, edit, add, and then add the repository. Cydia. No. 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 Cydia. No. Stop it. Dot in Voxy. Play games. Dot UK. And then hit add. And then you'll see the same message saying untrusted server certificate. Wait. Don't hit anything, just wait. It's not displaying anything, but it's actually still doing stuff in the background here. Don't hit reload. We need to wait until that reload button turns to close, which may take a second here. So I'll be back when that, once that's done. 
Oh no, there we go. Reloading data. Never mind. Didn't even need to cut. Well, this is going to take a second, but yeah. Just wait. And there we go. Now that says just close, you can hit close. We can ignore those upgrades for now. Wait, no. Hold up. Do not hit ignore on those upgrades. If you do that, this next step will not work. I did an oopsie there, and it caused me to not be able to finish it. So instead, what you need to do is you need to go and update all the sources, hit complete upgrade, and then basically follow the same steps you did when adding the source. After you hit whatever buttons necessary to install the upgrade, to get it to start installing, wait until reloading data comes up on the screen because you'll have that network error, and then once that uh, turn goes to reloading data, and then that button in the top right says close, uh, you can either hit close or it might just, I think it might just shut out of Cydia automatically and then just open it back up again. And then, then you can follow this next step. Sorry, I'm human. Go to IPG Cydia repo, click on it, and install Cydia HTTP patch. You won't see anything here, just hit install, then hit confirm, and then, well, it says reload. Don't hit anything, just wait, and then same deal as before, it'll say reloading data, I think, anyway, and then it'll say close. Yep, so reloading data, we're going to be waiting here for a couple minutes, and then once it goes away and it says close in its place, you can click it. And there we go, we're going to hit close, it's going to say loading, and then it, the device will respring. And then there we go. Then go back into Cydia and let it load. Home, that's new. And there you go. Besides that weird glitched out logo, you'll find that now anything you go to works perfectly. Congratulations, you've jailbroken your first gen iPod Touch right here. So, if your device is now jailbroken thanks to my tutorial, a like would be much appreciated. And uh, I have a couple others. If you have another device you want to jailbreak, check it out. Uh, I'll link to my other two videos in the description. And uh, consider subscribing as well if you want to help support my channel and want to see more videos soon. And that's it. I'll see everyone later.